On today's show, I have five. One, two, three, four, five. Blockbuster trade ideas before the start of the NFL season. If you think that the NFL all season is over, you would be mistaken as there are some big moves to still be made. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with our first trade idea. It involves Jonathan Taylor. And here's an idea that I have cooked up. Sending Jonathan Taylor to the Chicago Bears, and in exchange, the Bears give up a second and third round pick next year. Now, here's what I'm looking at. You talk about a potential win for both sides. The Colts are in a situation where they're just bad. Let's be real with y'all. That Colts team is maybe the worst in the entire NFL. They are resetting everything, right? They're starting over from scratch. Jonathan Taylor, despite what Jim Irsay and others may say, he doesn't fit the timeline of where the Indianapolis Colts are going at this point in time. Meanwhile, the opposite is true with Chicago Bears. The Bears are building. They're optimistic about their future. They're looking for a huge step up in their run game. You got Khalil Herbert there. Khalil Herbert's pretty good. Uh, He had a nice run at the University of Kansas, then then, uh, went on to Virginia Tech, and now he's turned out to be a pretty decent back in the NFL. But you need another runner there. And Jonathan Taylor could be the elite runner you're looking for. This might work for both parties involved. And on top of that, I know nobody wants to pay running backs these days, but the Bears have a ton of money, a ton of cap space to spend. They could pay Jonathan Taylor, so I could see this trade working. What do you think? Does Ursay do it? Will the Colts trade Jonathan Taylor? This is our pin comment today. Why for yes, in for no. Will we see a trade or not involving Jonathan Taylor? Weigh in the comment section. Tell us what you think. Why for yes, in for no. Another blockbuster trade idea, straight up, Chase Young, Patrick Queen. What about this one? Let's examine this piece by piece. If we were to talk about talent level, who's the more talented player between the two? I'm leaning towards Chase Young. But the guy that's been more dependable and more reliable in his career would be Patrick Queen. And so you look at these two situations here. Commanders could use some help at linebacker. Um, The Ravens could use some help at the uh, defensive end spot, looking for uh, a a big-time pass rusher. Patrick Queen, we've seen him play very solid. Last year had a nice finish to the year playing alongside Roquan Smith, but the Ravens have other options potentially, including Trenton Simpson, and it doesn't seem likely that they're going to pay Patrick Queen beyond this upcoming season. Meanwhile, with Chase Young, on his side of things, the former number two overall pick had a fantastic rookie campaign uh, his first year there with the Washington Commanders. But then the next two seasons that followed, he has been very injury riddled to this point. We haven't seen uh, Chase Young be available. I haven't seen him play that much over these last two seasons. So you look at it this way. Um, could these two teams fill each other's needs here and also pay these guys long-term? That's a big question that you have to consider with both parties involved here. The numbers on Chase Young the last three seasons. Let's go back to what he did his rookie campaign. 44 tackles, four forced fumbles. Um, He hasn't been the same the last couple seasons, but we've heard the reports out of training camp and everything that Chase Young looks like the same player that he was uh, his rookie season, then even better than that. Watch out. That could be an intriguing idea and could be a win for both sides. Which one would you rather have? Would you rather roll with Patrick Queen or would you rather roll with Chase Young? Weigh in. Tell us what you think in the comments section. PQ for Patrick Queen. CY for Chase Young. Weigh in. Tell me what you think. PQ for Patrick Queen. CY for Chase Young. Today's show is sponsored by BetUS, the exclusive sportsbook partner of Chad Sports. Go to chadsports.com. Slash bet, enter the promo code NFL Daily. You will get a 125% deposit bonus. Put $100 down, get $125 to spend for free at chatsports.com slash bet, promo code NFL Daily. Odds are out for Super Bowl 58 in Las 
Vegas. The Chiefs, the favorites at plus 600. Eagles, plus 700. Bills, plus 900. 49ers and Bengals at plus 1,000. I like the value of the Bengals there at plus 1,000. That's an intriguing one to me if you're looking for a value bet. You can bet on this as well as other NFL action, uh, whether it's Major League Baseball, UFC, boxing, NASCAR, and more, all at chatsports.com slash bet. Enter that promo code NFL Daily for that 125% deposit bonus. Uh, chatsports.com slash bet, promo code NFL Daily. Trade idea numero tres involving Trey Lance. Trey, Trey, see what I did there? Uh, here's the possibility. Here, it, This is the reality if you're the San Francisco 49ers. You gave up a whole lot. For Trey Lance, we all know that. Three first-round picks, and you're never going to get that back. That time has come and gone. you got to live with the bed you made, essentially, at this point. You are going all in on Brock Purdy. And then you got Sam Darnold there. Trey Lance didn't look great in that preseason game the other day. Sam Darnold seems to be your favorite to be your number two quarterback. I mean, I've said this for years, and I'll continue to reiterate. Kyle Shanahan's favorite quarterback is his next quarterback, I think they've mentally moved on from Trey Lance. And I don't think it does you any good to keep him around with him just sitting there and not trying to get at least something out of him. Uh, If you've given up on him, you might as well move on from him now. You're not going to get your return on investment. I think the Bucs could be a landing spot, could get a fourth-round pick. The Bucs looks like they're going to roll with Baker. I don't think Kyle Trask is any good, but... That could give him one more shot to see if he's got something, if he could make it work. And remember, the Bucs have a pretty good quarterbacks coach in Dave Canales, their OC, who was previously the quarterbacks coach in Seattle. Maybe he could fix Trey Lance potentially. You're the Bucs. They are in salary cap hell. They got a lot of problems here. This is a risk they could potentially uh, find themselves worth taking. Folks, anytime a trade goes down in the NFL, a big trade of some sorts, We make videos here talking about it here on NFL Daily as we cover the National Football League like no one else does. We have our live shows, uh, daily news and rumors. We'll do our Red Zone channel throughout the season. If you are a diehard National Football League fan, we are the channel you need to be subscribed to. The best part about it doesn't cost you a thing. You can subscribe now for free. So turn on notifications, that way you stay up to date with all the latest happenings across the National Football League. It's covered right here on the NFL Daily by Chat Sports. Subscribe now, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. The number four trade idea, Zach Wilson of the New York Jets. Did you forget Zach Wilson was still with the New York Jets? That's okay. He did play in the Hall of Fame game uh, as these two teams actually faced off with one another. The Browns don't have an obvious answer for their backup quarterback situation uh, where things stand right now. Zach Wilson uh, has not looked good in his time in the NFL. Um, Zach Wilson is is a guy that I think you give, you potentially trade for a throwaway pick, like a a sixth or seventh round pick. You're probably not going to find a better player in a sixth or seventh round than Zach Wilson. It might be worth investing in. And a guy with starting experience. If something were to happen to Deshaun Watson, think about this. If you're the Cleveland Browns, okay, you are in a very competitive division. Might be the best in football. Every game matters if you're the Cleveland Browns here. What about giving up a sixth or second round pick and playing a guy like Zach Wilson, get him in that system, and maybe he's the difference in you making the postseason or not if Deshaun gets hurt or something like that. Which young quarterback, I'm not going to call them a bust, but which uh, second chance, journeyman, whatever you want to call it, we're not going to call him a bust yet. Would you rather give one more shot to Zach Wilson or Trey Lance? Weigh in, tell us in the comments section. ZW for Zach Wilson, TL for Trey Lance. Weigh in, tell me what you think, which quarterback you rather roll with for one last go round. Final trade idea, the Arizona Cardinals moving on from Isaiah Simmons, moving him to the Minnesota Vikings and getting a third-round pick in exchange. Isaiah Simmons, former first-round pick, uh, a Clemson Tiger, played his high school ball in Olathe, Kansas. Uh, I think Isaiah Simmons is a fine football player. 99 tackles, four sacks, 
five tackles for loss, two forced fumbles, one fumble recovery. I think Simmons has got the potential to be uh, a Pro Bowl caliber linebacker in this league. Kind of like what we've talked about on this channel with the Kyler Murray situation, the Arizona Cardinals, why you could be looking to move on from Simmons, as you've done with others, is you are resetting the clock. You are starting over. Simmons doesn't necessarily align with the timeline of the Arizona Cardinals. Don't necessarily think they probably want to pay Isaiah Simmons. So you might as well want to get something. Now, when it comes to these off-ball linebackers, their trade value has kind of dipped a bit over the last couple of years. And so Simmons, although he's a former first-round pick, I think you can probably get a third-round pick for him um, in the Vikings. Now, let's talk about the Vikings end of things. This is a team that has had their problems, right, when it comes to defense. They gave up a lot of points last year. Isaiah Simmons could help that team a long way. So there you have it. That's uh, our trade ideas. Let's go back through them one by one. Uh, We showed you the first one there. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, couple picks. Trade idea two, straight up, Patrick Queen and Chase Young, potentially. What about Trey Lance and a fourth-round pick there? Uh, Zach Wilson, seventh-round pick. Could we see Zach Wilson in Cleveland? And then Isaiah Simmons, uh, potentially going to Minnesota. What do you guys think? Weigh in the comments section. Tell me what you think. We'll see you next time here on NFL Daily. 